fight on the iPhone, I would eye slap someone. This is how you eye slap. <laughs> Hi folks, I'm SohanAndrew.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, I finally got my hands on an iPhone 6. Guess what? This one has bad ESN. The eBay listing I ordered from had clearly good ESN. Uh, upon getting it, I found out it has bad ESN. I'm gonna return this phone for sure, but while I have it, let's do some tests. I just did some tests with the Galaxy S6 and the S6 Edge and the iPhone 6, and the results are in. Do you wanna find out which of these phones have the brightest screen in the world? Let's go do this, baby. <sighs> All right guys, I've got all of these phones, the Galaxy S6 Edge at full brightness, the Galaxy S6 at full brightness, and the iPhone 6 at full brightness. All right, first I'm gonna go ahead and test out a black background. So let me go ahead and test out the black background. This is the Lux meter. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and place this guy right on the black part of it. You can see the iPhone 6 uses two Lux because it's an LCD. It does light up the black colors even when it's black uh, versus the Galaxy S6, zero, and also the S6 Edge at zero. Nope, what happened? Nope, some light got into it. Yeah, it's zero. Um, some of the flexible when I moved it. So it's zero. And next, let me go ahead and switch these colors. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and Test the white colors on the iPhone 6. All right, I get about 715, 716, 717. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and test out the Galaxy S6 Edge. I get 726. All right, those are actually different from my last time results. I'm not sure what went wrong. And I've got the Galaxy S6. We get about 678. All right, again, iPhone gets 719. S6 gets 734, 736, and S6 gets 675. All right, here's the kicker though. Now we have these Samsung devices on uh, manual brightness. It does not get the displays to all the way uh, up to actually the full brightness that it can. So I'm gonna put these in auto mode and we're gonna go ahead and outside and compare uh, in the numbers here. And we'll also put the auto brightness on for here and actually set everything uh, to the top. Let's go outside right here in the sun and these two displays should shoot up to the sky. All right, let's do this, baby. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and test out the iPhone 6 in the sun. And actually it hasn't changed much. The value is about the same. I get 720. Uh, the sun has no effect on the phone. So that's the maximum. And let me go ahead and show you the uh, Galaxy S6 Edge. All right, the Galaxy S6 is in auto mode uh, upon which the display will automatically brighten to the maximum setting. You can see that now I'm registering uh, almost 1150. Can't do the math here, but that's like 30% or almost 40% brighter than the iPhone 6. Let me bring out the Galaxy S6 next. All right, I got the Galaxy S6. Uh, it's actually not as bright as the, as the S6 Edge. Um, so in these tests, it proved that the, uh, but it's still way brighter uh, than the iPhone 6. All right, that's pretty much it, folks. So there you have it, folks. At full brightness, the S6 Edge wins, followed by the iPhone 6, followed by the Galaxy S6. Now outdoors, the Galaxy S6 and the S6 Edge uh, beat out the iPhone 6. Now with the auto brightness on outdoors, the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge edges out the iPhone 6. Actually, it whooped ass. So the AMOLED screens actually don't go all the way up to its full brightness unless you set it to the auto brightness. I don't know why Samsung did that, but now you can actually see the maximum brightness of the S6 and S6 Edge. It beats the pants off the iPhone 6 by a huge margin. So there you have it. I'm just giving you the facts out there. AMOLED screens on the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge are really good and they're much much brighter they use a lot less energy the lcds in general are just way far behind i'm not just talking about iphone 6 uh, but the ones like found on the m9 lg g3 g flex 2 it's just not an efficient technology anymore anyway i just want to give you the first hands-on results i'll have a benchmarking coming up next maybe tomorrow and also I got the Zenfone 2. This is the phone that QB King 77 unboxed at CES 15 
This is only 220 bucks on eBay. It has one of the newer Intel Atom processors, a dual SIM support, and best of all, it costs only $220. It's a very good device, I think. I should have an unboxing later today or tomorrow. I'm gonna to try to work as fast as I can. And thanks for watching this video. I will see you guys soon. As always, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus. And as always, I'll stay on Android. Bad phone, bad, bad phone. Do as I say, I'm your master. You now belong to me.